Right, let's start at the T20 World Cup, where England are just one game away from booking a place in the final. They play New Zealand in the semi-final tomorrow, live on Sky Sports. And Nasser Hussein has just been speaking to the England captain. One of the most important things as a leader is actually recognising what's going on within the camp, uh, being a good listener, uh, listen to everybody, regardless of backroom staff, um, support staff or, or players and if there is things going on acknowledge them deal with them and then refocus where we want to be and we've had that a little bit this week with what's going on at Yorkshire it's important to recognize the significance in that and the significant change that that brings with it um, but also the important role that we play in the bigger picture in the platform that we create through performance on the field allows us to be bigger role models off the field. It is a rematch of that famous day at Lords. A lot of people have some very fond memories of that day. Are you someone that just moves on, or do you yourself look back on that day and ifs and buts and what might have happened and what did happen? Yeah, that's an extraordinary day of cricket. Um, two fine sides going hard on it. Um, but I think the overriding feeling from that day is, you know, it'll, it'll always play a significant part in, in where we are today in English white ball cricket. Uh, it's a stepping stone, both confidence-wise and silverware-wise, uh, to get that first significant win as a group under our belt, having gone through the hard journey of that four, four years um, with everybody. Uh, so it's important to recognise that, but also to build upon it as well. And there are a lot of guys in the change room here tonight that were there that day and can reference you know, hard times throughout those four years where we need to push forward and recognise that, that those are the moments that you need to clinch in order to present yourself with opportunities to win. What have you made of New Zealand, your opponents, in this tournament? Um, they've, they've been very strong. Um, to turn over India in the fashion that they did you know, takes a, a very um, coherent... Uh, I suppose quite a, quite a lot of cohesion within the side as well. They're, they're a team that, that plays really strong together as a group as opposed to relying, being heavily reliant on one or two individuals. Um, but again, it's, it's, you know, you, every team you play against within this tournament, you come across different challenges. When you play New Zealand, that's the challenge you come up against. And their captain, Kane Williamson, world cricket seems to admire Kane Williamson. As a leader yourself, what do you think and do you admire him? Yeah, he's, he's one of the best leaders in the world. Uh, he's one of the best players of our generation. Um, he's a very humble guy, unbelievably good at his job. He makes things look easy. Um, and he's going, he's going to be you know, hard enough to overcome tomorrow. We've, we've had run-ins aside. Uh, in the past and, and you know it's been extremely competitive played in the right manner and I think tomorrow will be no different. Just talking about your side now a couple of injuries this week how much of a blow is it for the individuals like Tamal Mills and Jason Roy to mit miss out on such a big occasion you must feel for them. We feel for them massively um, it's a huge emotional journey without being injured um, the roller coaster that you, that you go through of emotions, riding the wins, the losses, uh, the ups and downs of different players within the side, um, and to, to not be there for the, the latter stages of a tournament really hurts them individually. I think with that, you know, we've, we've been hurt with injuries, you know, pre-tournament and throughout the, the, the games that we've played. But the resilience within the squad has been exceptional. We really have to acknowledge that guys that have come in have come in open-minded and I suppose recognise the opportunity to make a difference for this side. They recognise that it's it's a tough 11 to get into but also the difference that they can make. Jason Roy's a hard man to replace. Have you made your mind up day before the game which way you'll go tomorrow? Yeah, yeah we have. Um, I, I, unfortunately I don't want to share it with you. <laughs> but is that, is that based purely, do you look at it, you know you're quite big on matchups, which I'll come on to. Do you do make that decision purely on what's good for your side or do you look at the opposition and the venue and say right we've got to do something different or just look this is our side our squad let's do what the obvious thing is to do yeah it's it's based on both uh, and matchups is all about information and again giving you information allows the, the public to see it the opposition to see it and I think that's an advantage um, certainly within our side we have a lot of options to go to at the top of the order and we've guys that bat there for the county and have done it successfully in franchise cricket throughout the world so we're very fortunate in that regard, but but losing Jason is a is a huge blow. He's he's one of our 
leaders, one of our commanding players at the top of the order. Um, so I'm devastated for him.